So bago po tayo magsimula, uh, pwede po bang i-occupy natin yung mga upuan dito sa harapan, please. Thank you. Okay, so good afternoon and Happy New Year, Church. As we gather together on this first Sunday of the New Year, I would like to welcome you all, first-time visitors, new members, and long-time members. Welcome to Lord Jesus Christ Ministry. I am so grateful to have the opportunity to worship with you and to be a part of this wonderful church community. I just want to share with you this thought in my mind that may sound simple, yet it's powerful. It's a powerful truth. New Year, same God. That brief statement allows us to reflect on the beautiful scripture in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8 which says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. With changes coming at us so quickly, it's wonderful to know that God never changes, that God doesn't adapt to the times. The world doesn't change according to cultural pressures. God doesn't need to run for political office because he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. So church, let us start today's worship by lifting our voices and hearts in praise to our God that doesn't change. This week, we start a brand new series called Cultivating, where our journey begins with a profound exploration of the heart. I know that God is going to speak to us. Amen. Before we dive into the heart of our service, let's take a moment to greet around those around us and extend a warm welcome to everyone. Okay, church, are we ready to have an amazing time in the presence of our God today? Amen. So let's all stand as we enter into a time of worship together, knowing that we serve a great big God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hello. Good afternoon, church. What an amazing day into the house of the Lord today. It's a new year, a new beginning, a new hope from the Lord. Amen? Are you ready to praise the Lord tonight? Are you ready to worship? Are you ready to shout? Woo! Let's clap your hands like this. Ready. We worship the God who was, we worship the God who is, we worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison doors, he parted the raging sea, my God, he holds the victory. Come on, let's join, let's join the house of the Lord, let's join the house of the Lord today, and we walk by him. Shout out your praise, let's try the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place, and we won't be quiet. We shout out our praise, oh, oh, oh. We shout out your praise. Come on. We sing to the God. 
God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Does he hang up from the cross and the cross up from the grave? My God still rolling stones away. Let's join the house of the Lord. Let's join the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your first call. Let's join the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, church, this, build, this church is not only a building. This is the house of the Lord. This is the house of the Lord of our of sons and daughters of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're the beggars. Now we're royalty. We are the priests. Now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. Sing it again. We were the beggars. Now we're royalty, we were the priestess, now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. Come on! Let's join the house of the Lord. Let's join the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. Let's join the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. Let's join the house of the Lord. Today, and we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. Let's join the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. We won't be quiet. Shout out your praise, oh, 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 we shout out your praise, oh, oh, we shout out your praise, oh, oh, we shout out your praise, we shout out your praise, hallelujah. Minsan pa, bigyan natin the best love offering ating Diyos na buhay. Um, sabi po sa English Standard Version, Created me in a pure heart, O God, and renew our spirit within me. Hallelujah. Wala ko palang makikita. <laughs> Minsan pa, the best love offering sa ating Diyos na buhay. Hallelujah. Batiin nyo nga po ang inyong katabi sa inyong ka, uh, the next person to you. Say it. Happy New Year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sige po, tayo po ay uh, manalangin. Hallelujah. O Diyos, sama ng mga pera sa lahat. Maraming pong salamat sa hapong ito, O Lord, na pinadako mo, Panginoon, ang bawat isa sa amin upang ikaw ay aming papurihan, sambahin sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Maraming pong salamat, Panginoon, sa buong taon, Panginoon, na inyong ibinigay sa amin, Panginoon, ang kabutihan, ang iyong pagpapala, ang uh, kasagutan sa aming mga panalangin. Tunay nga po, O oh, Diyos, naranasan namin ang iyong kabutihan. Ikaw ang aming Diyos na hindi nagbabago noon, ngayon, at hanggang sa Walang hanggan, O Lord. Hallelujah. Marami pong salamat, O God, sa mga naririto tonight. Na inuna ka, Panginoon, sa oras pong ito, upang ikaw ay papurihan, Panginoon. Sambahin, Panginoon, sapagkat ikaw ang aming Diyos, na, na Diyos ni Abraham, ni Moises, ni Jacob, ni David, na siyang patuloy, Panginoon, na nagpapatawad sa lahat ng kasalanan ng bawat isa. Lord, may nasumpungan ka man na hindi ka lumutugod.
sumagot sa pagsa sa amin. Ano man ang aming nagawa ng hindi karapat dapat, O Lord, linisin mo po, Panginoon, ang pagsa sa amin, O Lord. Tunay nga po, Ikaw ay tapat, Panginoon, sa iyong mga anak. Kung kami, Panginoon, ay tapat din na magsisisi uh, uh, sa aming mga kasalanang nagawa, O Lord. At ngayon, Panginoon, sa pa panibagong taon, year 2024, we are looking forward, Lord, na much better, Panginoon, sa bawat isa sa amin, hindi lamang sa aming buhay, sa aming pangkabuhayan, sa aming pamilya, mas mostly, O Lord, we are looking forward na mas lalo kami magiging uh, matured, Panginoon, sa aming uh, spiritual life, O God. Lord, tulungan mo po ang bawat isa na bigyan mo kami ng uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding, O Lord, sa iyong word upang maunawa namin ang bawat salita, Panginoon, na gusto mo ipahatid sa bawat isa upang kami ay patuloy na makapaglingkod sa iyong dakilang pangalan. Kawa, O oh Diyos, ang panibagong taon na ito ay lalo kami magiging masigasig at magsusumikap sa aming paglilingkod sa iyong dakilang pangalan. O Diyos, dadalain ko po lahat ng tatayo sa unahan mula sa simula hanggang sa matapos ang aming gawain ito. Patuloy mo silang samahan. Lord, dadalain ko po, Panginoon, na patuloy mong i-anoint, Panginoon, at langisan ang bawat isa sa kanila, O Lord. Lalo higit ang iyong mensahero na wa, O Diyos, samahan mo siya, langisan mo ang kanyang labi at dila upang ang mensahe na aming marinig ni ay magre-rema sa bawat isa sa amin, O Diyos. Lord, marami pong salamat at uh, ang aming mga kapatid na paparating pa lamang dito, O Diyos. Samahan mo sila sa kanilang mga panyapak upang sila, Panginoon, ay makasama namin sa aming pagsasamba at sa aming pagpupuri sa iyong dakilang pangalan. Even in live streaming, O Lord, sa mga nanonood, Panginoon, Lord, saan man lang sila naroon, samahan mo sila, iabot mo, Panginoon, ang iyong mapagpalang kamay, O God. Lord, marami pong salamat. Ta, ngayon pa lamang inaangkin na namin ang katagupayan ng aming gawain tonight, O Lord. At alam ko po, Panginoon, na ang bawat sulok ng lugar na ito ay pupunin mo ng iyong banal na Espiritu. Sasamahan mo kami, Panginoon, hanggang sa aming matapos ang aming pananambahan. Marami pong salamat, O Diyos, sa iyo namin ipinagkakatiwala ang lahat na ito sa matamis na pangalan ng aming Painusus. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to praise the Lord. We'll give back the honor and glory for our, for our Lord, for the goodness that He has given to us for the whole year of 2023. And now, we're hoping for the best for the year 2024. Amen? Amen. Amen. Whew. Clap your hands, church, and sing with us. Are you, Lord? It's your words. It's your love. Oh, how glorious. Are you, Lord? It's your power. It was your cross. That's moment and set me free give you glory I give you glory glory I give you glory glory I give you glory glory Jesus I give you glory glory I give you glory glory I give you glory Come on, church, let's dance for the Lord. Woo. Sing it together. Before are you, Lord? It's your words. It's your love. 
Oh, how glorious are you, Lord? It's your power. You want to cross that saved me and rescued me. Just a moment there, set me free. Come on, give you glory. I give you glory, glory. I give you glory, glory. I give you glory, glory. Jesus, I give. I give you glory, glory. I give you glory, glory. I give you glory, glory. became a king forever with that crown of thorns you became a king forever and with that crown of thorns you became a king forever with that crown of thorns The moment there set me free that saved me and rescued me. Just a moment there set me free. Go together, give you glory, give you glory, glory. I 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 give you glory, glory. Jesus. Come on, church, dance. Praise you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Woo! I live a life down at your feet. So the only one I need. I turn to you and you are always. Trouble times. In troubled times, it's you I see. I put you first, that's all I need. I'm humble all I am, all to you. One way, one way. Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could You are always, always there, every how and everywhere. Your grace and band so deeply within me. You will never ever change. Yesterday, today, the same. Never till forever means no way. Come on, all together, one way. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can be for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can be for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can be for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can be for. You are the way, the truth, and the life. 
live by faith and not by sight for you. Living all for you. You are the way. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Live by faith and not by sight for you. Living all for you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could be for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could be for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could be for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could be for. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We glory. We glorify your name, O oh God. Yes, Lord. It's Jesus. We need you, Jesus, in our lives.
to honor you all my heart worship you all I am within me I keep
the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Is it good? It is good to give our heart to offer our lives to Jesus. And tonight, brothers and sisters, as we continue to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, search our heart, search our soul, and ask the Lord God that God give us the strength. Give us the Holy Spirit in our life. Come on, church. As we worship the King of Kings, kung pwede natin kausapin ng Diyos, this song is like our prayer. This song that we may ask the Lord that He will give us He give us the power to overcome all the tactics of the devil in this 2024 Come on church Lord I give you my heart Come on So
tonight, Lord, we are offer our heart to you, God. And we believe, Lord, that every one of us will be filled by your Holy Spirit. As we give our heart, as we give our soul to you, Lord, we ask your guidance, your healing, your blessings be upon us, O God. And we believe, Lord, that this 2024, the best is yet to come. Lord, tonight, as I preach your word, Lord God, Lord God, use your word as a channel of blessings to everyone. Use your word as a strengthen, as we strengthen our soul in your sight, O oh God. Lord, we give you praise and we give you honor. Lord, we come before you with a humble heart. And Lord, forgive all our sins done anything wrong in your sight, O oh God. Forgive us, Lord God, and cleanse us by your holy blood. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Happy New Year. Tell to your brothers and sisters, Happy New Year. It's good to see you again this 2024. Thank you so much for uh, coming to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this 2024. This is the first Sunday of uh, Sunday of uh, 2024 and we believe that this is the good is starting in our lives. Amen that we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Tonight, uh, I would like to thank uh, everyone of you. Um, nakasama po na, na, natin ang ating mga kapatid, sila Brother uh, uh, Jonathan at ang kanyang family, at ang uh, aking mga kasama sa fishing, sila Brother uh, Christian, Si Brother Christian ay tiga Cebu, si Brother JR, and then si Brother Selwyn. And uh, thank you so much for coming again, uh, Brother Vincent and company. Talagang uh, hindi maghihiwalay itong mga magkakaibigan nito. Amen? Intak yung kanilang pagkakaibigan. Because they are one God. Amen? And they have one Lord, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Amen. Shall we clap offering to our God? Shall we give a clap offering to our God? And tonight, uh, our topic for this uh, month of uh, January is about cultivating. You know, church, our mission is to lead people into a genuine and fully devoted relationship with Jesus Christ by cultivating by cultivating love, forbearance, and hope in order to advance the kingdom of God in the community and to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is our mission, brothers and sisters. This church, our mission is to lead 
to lead people into a genuine relationship with God. Amen? Do you want relationship with God? If you want the relationship with God, we need to offer our heart. We need to offer our life unto Him. Dahil ang Diyos mismo ang siyang magpapala sa atin kapag inoffer natin ang ating buhay sa Kanya. Starting this year, 2024, make our relationship to our Lord Jesus Christ genuine, fully devoted to Him. Do you want a fully devoted to the Lord Jesus Christ? And brothers and sisters, we should make our relationship to our Lord Jesus Christ as a genuine and fully devoted to Him. Amen? We will start by cultivating our heart. This 2024, we will start by cultivating our heart. This year, brothers and sisters, it's a good to be back to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we believe thus that this 2024, every one of us will be a successful Christian or successful followers of Christ. Amen? Do you want to be a successful followers of Christ? Hallelujah. If you want to be a successful followers of Christ this year 2024, make our heart clean. Make our heart clean for God's glory. Amen? And put a new right spirit within us. According to the Bible, in Psalms chapter 51, verse 10 to 12, make this verse as your prayer. Shall we read this uh, together? This verse. Come on. Read this verse together. Verse 10. And renew a right spirit within me. Verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Is it good to make this, to make our heart, this 2024, clean in the sight of God? Amen? Clean and put a new right spirit within our heart. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, every day we need to come before the throne of God and ask Him to cultivate our heart, to prepare the soil in our hearts and plant seeds of righteousness so that we can produce a vast harvest of fruit, which is love, Joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. That is in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. Hallelujah. And brothers and sisters, according to the par parable of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Matthew chapter 13, verse 23, Jesus says, Your heart is like a soil. The Bible says, But he that received seed into the good ground is he that hearted the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundred folds, some sixty, and some thirty. That is the parable 
of God in Matthew chapter 23. Uh, uh, chapter 13, verse 23. And this year, I would like to share with you the five principles to cultivate our heart. Is it good to cultivate our heart because last, last year, I know that every one of us, there's a lot of circumstances that we face. Amen? Maybe sa inyo, maybe ang lahat sa inyo ay uh, nakaranas ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. Nag nagiging sanhi kung minsan ay parabang nahihirapan ka sa iyong puso. Kung minsan ay nakakalimutan natin humingi ng tulong sa Diyos. Kung minsan we rely on our knowledge and wisdom. But we need the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? You know, church, there are five principles to cultivate our heart. Number one, cultivate a grateful heart by spending, spending time in the Bible. Sino po sa inyo ang nakakalimot ng magbasa ng Bible? Maaring ilan sa atin ay hindi na nakakapagbasa ng Bible. O maybe some of us ay hindi na natin nababasa ang salita ng Diyos. Sino po sa inyo ang may mga Bible? Who among you have a Bible? Oh, do you have do you have a uh, Bible apps in your uh, cell phone? Try to read the Bible. We will start this 2024 to read your Bible. Amen. As we start this 2024 as part of our cultivating our heart, we need to read our Bible. Amen. And we believe that if we read the Bible, it will remind us the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ in our life. Hallelujah. Thank you, mga brothers and sisters, for coming this uh, Sunday, this, yeah, starting this uh, 2024. We believe that every one of us ay hindi na po magpapalya sa ating pagdalo sa church. Amen? Kung wala rin lang tayong pupuntahan, kailangan po nating laging dumalo sa ating church and then we need to read our Bible daily. If we need, if you read your Bible daily, According to the Bible, for God's word, for God's word to take root in our hearts, it will be a root in our heart, the word of the living God. Amen? The word of God is the root of our hearts. This is the strong foundation of our faith. If you read the Bible, you have the strong foundation of our Lord Jesus Christ. We must spend intentionally time reading our Bible, studying and meditating on His Word, meditating day and night. We need to meditate the Word of God day and night. Amen? And this 2024, we believe that every one of us will be rooted by the Word of God. Do you want to be rooted by the Word of God? 
Read your Bible daily. And then take time to reflect on your testimony of the times God has protected, has protected you, provided you, and restored you in other seasons. You know, church, you will find, you will find, if, uh, if we read your Bible, you will find the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Do you want to read your Bible daily? Bibigyan namin kayo ng guidelines, ng uh, guide kung paano natin babasahin ang Bible. Meron po tayong ipopost o uh, pamamaraan para po tayo ay hindi magpalya sa pagbabasa ng Bible. Meron po tayong ipopost sa ating uh, page account or uh, uh, ipapaskil natin dito siguro kung paano natin babasahin ang ating Bible daily. And focus your conversation. Brothers and sisters, we must focus your conversation on sharing His wondrous needs in your life. Kailangan lahat tayo ay uh, uh, sa pamamagitan ng Word of God ay magpo-focus tayo through conversation, through the Word of God. Amen? Mag, uh, uh, lahat tayo ay um, mag-share ng Word of God. Isi-share natin ang Word of God, yung mga nababasa ninyo na naging, uh, 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 naging daan ng inyong mga pagtatagumpay sa larangan ng ating pananampalataya. Tell to your brothers and sisters kung kayo po yung mga sharing ninyo through your sharing by the words of God ay nagpapalakasan ang bawat sa atin. Amen? Gusto niyo bang maging malakas ang ating pananampalataya? Kailangan magpalakasan tayo through the words of God. Brothers and sisters, it's hard to be ungrateful when you take the time to see what God has already done in your life. So, brothers and sisters, I urge you to read your Bible. Are you with me? Alam nyo, the Word of God is our strong foundation. Ito po ang foundation natin kung paano tayo mamuhay na isang mabuting kristyano sa harapan ng Diyos. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 to 7 And now just as you accept Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow Him. Do you want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ? If you want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, read his words. And he said, let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built in him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will, you will overflow with thanksgiving. Do you believe it? If you read your Bible, mag-overflow yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Try. Try to read your Bible daily. And we believe that if you read your Bible daily, 
yung yung foundation ninyo sa inyong pananampalataya ay magiging strong. Amen? Hallelujah! Brothers and sisters, kailangan po nating magbasa ng kanyang mga salita dahil magre-reflect sa atin ang ating mga testimony. Magre-reflect ang ating mga testimony through the words of God. Sa pamamagitan ng words of God, magre-reflect sa atin yung mga testimony natin, yung mga napagtagumpayan natin sa ating buhay na kuminsan we face our difficulties in our lives. But if you read your Bible, you will be a strong Christian. Amen? At makikita mo yung kabutihan ng Diyos na umaapaw sa ating buhay dahil yung salita ng Diyos ay nag, nagiging sanhi ng malalim na ugat ng ating pananampalataya. Amen? So, pray this prayer. Sabay-sabay tayo na uh, basahin itong prayer natin na ito. Come on, church. Sabay-sabay tayo. One, two, three. Lord, thank you for the wonderful things named the individually you have done in my life. Thank you for the amazing ways you continuously show up in my life. We need to thank the Lord na patuloy na gumagawa sa atin ng mga pagtatagumpay sa ating buhay. Amen? We need to thank the Lord every day in our lives. Marahil iba sa atin, maraming mga pagsubok na dumaan sa ating buhay. Kamakailan lang namatay ang kapatid ni Brother Jonathan at talagang sabi ko nga sa kanya, ang buhay natin dito sa mundo ay talagang dumadaan tayo ng mga pagsubok ng mga ganito. Ang pamilya po ni Brother Jonathan at the moment ay nagluluksa sa pagkamatay ng kapatid ni Brother Jonathan. And we believe that God comfort this family. Through the word of God, this family, God will comfort them. Through their, uh, sa pamamagitan ng uh, mga circumstances nila, mga difficulties nila sa buhay. And uh, brothers and sisters, mamaya po, Uh, kung di po mamasahin ni Brother uh, Jonathan, ay magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, uh, tulungan natin ang ating kapatid na namatayan. At uh, talagang uh, alam nyo naman, kapag ka namatayan ka sa Pilipinas, marami pong mga gastusin natin, di ba? At uh, uh, sa pamagitan ng ating pagtulong-tulong, ay matulungan natin ang ating kapatid through our uh, uh, love sa pamilyang ito. Amen? At ma, kung di mo mamasahin, Brother Jonathan, ay uh, tanggapin mo ang aming uh, tulong mamaya at uh, nawa ay maging malaking tulong sa inyo ito. At uh, salamat sa uh, pag uh, pag uh, sabi mo ng uh, nang uh, oh, pag nalaman ko kasi na siya ay namatayan dahil sa Facebook niya ay uh, nalungkot siya dahil ang kapatid niya ay namatay. At uh, talagang uh, dumadaan tayo sa mga pagsubok na ganito. Amen. Every one of us ay dumadaan tayo ng mga difficulties na katulad nito. And we must remember the Lord Jesus Christ through the reading of the Word of God. Amen? Are you with me? Brothers and sisters, that is the number one principle to cultivate 
our heart. And number two, number two, cultivate a grateful heart by remembering what God has already done in our lives. Amen? Cultivate a grateful heart by remembering what God has already done. Brothers and sisters, kapag ka tayo po, if we face a lot of circumstances in our lives, if we face a lot of difficulties in our lives, we must remember that God has already done a miracle in our lives. Amen? Sometimes, ang uh, buhay natin ay dumadaan tayo ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. And uh, yung mga pagsubok sa ating mga buhay, yung mga difficulties natin sa ating buhay, ay nagiging uh, sanhi ng kuminsan ay talagang parang hindi ka na makausad. Dahil sa hirap ng mga pagsubok na ito. But, when you remember that God has already done in your life na tayo po ay binigyan ng mga bagay na pangkalakasan ng ating Panginoong Diyos through the Word of God at maalala natin kung gaano kabuti ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Amen? Remember what God has already done in our life. Let us remember what the Lord Jesus Christ does in our lives. I remember when I was an uh, addict. Nung ako po'y addict sa droga, ay talagang ang, uh, ako, ang buhay ko po ay hindi ko alam na napariwara na sa harapan ng Diyos. But thank the Lord. I give thanks to the Lord that He changed my life. Binago niya ang aking buhay. Sa kabila ng aking pagiging adik, ay naramdaman ko ang pagmamahal ng Diyos na kahit kailan hindi niya ako iniwan. Dahil alam kong mahal ako ng Diyos. At ganun din sa inyo. Alam kong mahal na mahal kayo ng Diyos. God loves you so much. Amen? And we believe that God has, has a purpose in your life. Every one of us, God has a purpose in our lives. Amen? Kahapon nga, nag-uusap kami ni Brother uh, Christian habang kami ay uh, uh, habang binabaybay namin ang daan po namin patungo sa aming pagpifishing at nakit na lamang ko yung kanyang buhay talagang marami rin siyang marami rin siyang naging struggle sa kanyang pagiging Kristiyano namatayan siya ng kanyang anak at talagang uh, na talagang uh, sakit sa kanyang kalooban ang nangyari dahil sa pagkamatay ng kanyang anak. At talagang uh, uh, kapag ka ikaw ay uh, katakot-takot na pag uh, yung, uh, yung sa hospital, pagdala ng uh, kanyang anak sa hospital, katakot-takot na gastusin ang kanyang kinaharap. At talagang, ang sabi niya, through the Lord Jesus Christ, na pagtagumpay niya ang mga bagay na yon. Amen? At sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos, mapapagtagumpayan po natin ang mga difficulties natin sa ating buhay. I know that every one of us were facing a lot of difficulties in our lives. But thank the Lord for His goodness. Alam natin 
ng Diyos kailanman hindi tayo iiwan. Amen? Dahil ang Panginoong Diyos, kahit kailan, ay hindi tayo pababayaan kapag ka ang buhay po natin ay sinurender natin sa Kanya. Are you with me? Katulad tayo ng isang agila na kapag ka ang agila ay ang kanyang anak ay dadalhin niya sa pinakapataas na bahagi. Pagkatapos noon, bibitawan niya ang kanyang inakay para matutong lumipad. At paglipad, pagkampay ng uh, inakay ng agilang ito ay nakikita ng kanyang ina na ang ma- maliit na agilang ito ay patuloy na kumakampay, lumalaban, lumalaban sa himpapawid para mapaglabanan yung mga bagyo na kanyang daraanan. Tayo man minsan ay tayo ay dumadaan ng bagyo sa ating buhay na kailanman ay uh, ang Diyos hindi ka kailanman iiwanan dahil habang nakaranas ka ng bagyo sa iyong buhay ay patuloy kang pinapalakas ng Diyos. Kumakampay ka, lumalaban ka sa takbo ng mundong ito. Lumalaban ka sa mga difficulties mo sa inyong buhay. And then, katulad ng isang agila, kapag ka malapit na ang kanyang anak sa baba o sa lupa, bigla niyang sisisirin ang kanyang inakay pagkatapos iangat muli. Ganon ang Diyos. Ang Diyos, minsan bibitawan tayo sa mga pagsubok sa ating buhay. Amen? Minsan ang Diyos, bibitawan tayo sa mga difficulties natin. Nang akala natin, iniwan na tayo ng Diyos. But God is still in your sight. Kay kailan hindi ka pababayaan ng Diyos? Na katulad ng agila ay muli kang itataas. Ang Diyos, muli kang itataas sa kabila ng mga pagsubok mo sa buhay. Sa kabila ng mga trials mo na kinakaharap, muli kang iangat ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah! Praise God! Are you with me? Palakpakan nga natin ang ating Diyos. Nauhaw ako. Alam niyo, brothers and sisters, it's good to remember what God has already done in our lives. You know, church, let us remember what the Lord Jesus Christ done in our lives. He saved us because He loves us so much. Amen? Tayo ay isang makasalanan But He saved us because God loves us so much. God is our Savior. He died for us. He died. He paid the price for you and for me. He paid the price to redeem us for our sins. That is the goodness of our God in our lives. Amen? He saved our souls. Niligtas tayo sa kapahamakan ng ating Panginoong Diyos. And then, tayo po ay tinubos ng kanyang mga dugo ang kanyang dugo ang siyang tumubos sa bawat sa atin. So, brothers and sisters, we can cultivate our grateful heart during challenging season. We need to cultivate our heart in times of challenging season in our lives. During our challenges season, 
let us remember what God has already done in our lives. Amen? Take time to reflect on your testimonies. I do believe that every one of us, we have a lot of testimonies na ginawa ng Diyos sa ating mga buhay. Amen? So, share your testimonies and you know that God will protect you in times of suffering in our lives. He will provide you. He will provide you in times of needs. And He will restore you. And God, papalakasin tayo ng Diyos through remembering what God has already done in our lives. Do you remember what the Lord has done in the cross of Calvary? That is the goodness of God. That is an unconditionally love of God. Kahit even we are all as sinners, God still loves us so much. So brothers and sisters, let us remember what God has already done. According in Colossians chapter uh, 2 verse 6 to 7, sa New Living Translation, and now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow Him. Let your roots grow down. Let your roots grow down into Him and let your lives be built on Him then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow the thankfulness. Hallelujah. Number three. Let us cultivate our grateful heart by keeping a kingdom perspective. What is your perspective this 2024? Brothers and sisters, let us cultivate our grateful heart by keeping a kingdom perspective. Kailangan ang perspective natin is heavenly perspective. Amen? Kailangan ang perspective natin sa ating buhay ay heavenly perspective. Keeping a kingdom perspective is a vital striving o yung mahalagang pag-umunlad ang ating spiritual life in a challenging season. Amen? Keeping, our, uh, keeping a kingdom perspective, brothers and sisters, this 2024, we must keep our perspective a perspective that heavenly perspective. Amen? A kingdom perspective remind us to keep our eyes on doing eternal work instead of reacting to temporary inconveniences. Kailangan maalala natin o malaman natin o makita natin yung mga bagay na nagpapalakas sa atin. Even tayo po ay may mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Continue our perspective, a kingdom perspective to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And brothers and sisters, we surrender our desires to hijack God's plan because we trust and believe in God's character. Kingdom perspective will change everything even when nothing around you has changed. Kingdom perspective changes everything. 
Do you believe it? Know and fully recognize with gratitude that the Lord himself is God. And it is he who has made us, not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. That is in Psalms chapter 100 verse 3. And number four. Cultivating, cultivate our grateful heart with praise. Amen? This 2024, let us cultivate a grateful heart with praise, with worshiping God. Kailangan, every Sunday, let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen? Let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because the reason why we live in this earth is to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Are you with me? Even in the most challenging situation and challenging moments in our lives, we can still choose to focus our words on praising God. Let us focus on praising God's holy name. Instead of talking about our problems, let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen? We praise God for who He is. We praise the Lord Jesus Christ because He loves us so much. He created us to worship Him. Brothers and sisters, we remind ourselves, God is Adonai. God is Adonai means master over all. We remind ourselves, Elohim Chasidi, which, which, means, which means the God of mercy. Elohim Tilihati, which means God of my mercy praise, and so much more. Brothers and sisters, let us exalt the King of Kings. Let us, let us exalt the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and let us exalt the King of Kings with gratitude. Hallelujah. That, that, is, that is in Psalms Chapter 145, verse 6. Your awe inspiring deeds will be on every time. I will proclaim your greatness. So, brothers and sisters, this is the last. This is the last principles how to cultivate our heart. Number five, cultivate a grateful heart. Through repentance. Cultivate a grateful heart through repentance. Kailangan natin ang repentance. Kailangan natin ang pagsisisi. We need to repent to all our sins and to God. We need to repent all our uh, um, since to our God. You know, church, kailangan po natin ang repentance. That's why the Bible says, the Bible says in 1 John chapter, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, that if you confess your sins unto God, he will just and faithful to forgive all our sins. Amen? Let us remember the goodness of God through repentance. So, brothers and sisters, cultivate our grateful heart through repentance. Those times the Holy Spirit reveals to us, we more focus on making an idol or our problems that keeping Christ the center of our life. 
So we must realize that we need change. We must realize that we need change. Sabihin mo sa iyong katabi, we need change. Hallelujah. Change starts for us by acknowledging our unhealthy thoughts and behavior. Amen? Bringing insecurities. When we choose to humble before God, tender size our heart and make room for gratitude toward Christ. So, in Colossians chapter uh, 3 verse 17, whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through Him. So, make this prayer as your prayer. Lord, forgive me for my ungrateful heart. Sige, saba, sa, shall we read this, uh, uh, this uh, quotation? Prayer, this uh, prayer, of quote, prayer quotation? Sabay-sabay po tayo. Read this uh, uh, sentence. One, two, three. Lord, forgive me for my ungrateful heart and attitude toward you. I repent for my king, my situations, and idol in my heart. Help me to see my circumstances through your eyes to keep my focus on you. I choose to praise you in whatever I do in every season. Brothers and sisters, this is my conclusion. Let us remember let us remember always these five principles to make relationship to our Lord Jesus Christ genuine and fully devoted to Him. Tonight, lahat po tayo ay kailangan naalala natin ang limang principles na ito. At naniniwala ako if we remember these principles to cultivate our heart, our life is full of encouragement sa ating mga buhay, sa pagpapatuloy, sa paglilingkod sa ating Diyos. Tonight, brothers and sisters, let us remember these five principles dahil this 2024, alam kong kakaharapin natin, marami tayong kakaharapin na mga pagsubok sa ating buhay. But the Lord, if we are rooted in His if we, root, if we are rooted in His uh, words, lahat po tayo ay magiging malakas sa ating pananampalataya. The, in John 10.10, 10, the devil is trying to destroy your life. The devil is trying to destroy your strong foundation. But God says, I will give you an abundant life. God gave us an abundant life. And tonight, bago tayo lumabas sa bahay-sambahan na ito, we need the anointing of God. And we believe that every one of us, if God anointed us, any attack of the devil in this world ay mapapagtagumpayan po natin. Do you want do you want to destroy the works of the devil this 2024? Offer your lives to God and ask the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight, 
we have an anointing of oil. Bago po tayo lumabas sa bahay-sambahan na ito, ay ang oil na ito ay magiging shield natin sa gawa ng jablo sa mundong ito na naglipa na sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Maraming mga temptation sa labas ng iglesia ito at sa mundong ito sa ating ginagalawang maraming mga temptation and the devil is trying to destroy your spiritual life and tonight lahat po tayo ay magpaanoint ng oil as a shield ito po'y magiging sanggalang natin sa gawa ng jablo sa sanlibutan ito. This oil represented by the Holy Spirit. Habang inawit po natin ang awit na ito. Hallelujah. Tayong lahat ay tumayo. Let us all stand. Every morning, oh Lord, the sky with the shade of His glory gives us the mercy and love. Jesus, Christ. come on, church. Who holds the yoke, comforts the weak, cries for justice, feels every sorrow. See?
To rise every morning, call us the sky with the shades of his glory. He accepts the mercy and love Jesus does. He holds the earth, he comforts the window, cries for injustice, feels every 
every sorrow. Here is the pain of his children. Jesus
Amen. Can I ask the congregation to come into front? So, siguro mauna dito. So, we will anoint you with our will because we believe this year 2024 is very important to us. Amen? So, through the anointing of the OL, then we have the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Pwede pa tayong tumayo dito sa harap? Yung itong first role muna, and then I ask the leaders to assist. Now, so after that, the second row, then the last row. So, mauna po dito, pwede pa kayo pumunta sa harap?
and I will live for you.
Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. What a presence of the Lord. It's a real presence of the Lord right now. And I believe that all of us, our heart melted in this strong presence of the Lord, the holy presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit right now. I believe that all of us heard from our heart what the Lord is saying right now in you. You know what is the situation. And right now we are going to proceed in our next event or next. Hallelujah. At habang uh, ang mga elemento po ay ibinibigay para po sa pagdako natin sa ating uh, communion, nais ko lang po magbigay ng mga ilang uh, mga pangungusap upang makita natin at maunawa natin what is the significance in the meaning and in the understanding of Holy Communion or yung amin sa Tagalog ay uh, banal na hapunan. Hallelujah. 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 Nais ko pong basahin muna sa inyo ang sinasabi ng Isaiah 5.53 verse 5. It says, He was pierced because of our rebellion and crushed because of our crimes. He bore the punishment that made us whole. By His wound, we are healed. And on 1 Peter 3.18, Christ Himself suffered an account Christ himself suffered on account of sin once for all. The right, the righteous one on behalf of the unrighteous. He did this in order to bring you into the presence of God. This Christ was put, was put to death as a human but made alive by the Spirit. As we come to uh, remember the sacrifice, the atonement of Christ, there are four things that we have to, why do we have to remember it? Nais ko lang pong ibigay sa inyo to. That this time we have to be sincere because what Christ have done on the cross is not just, but it is the most important thing that we must do. Things to remember Christ's sacrifice first, it is personal. It is not by the others. Jesus Christ know and love you as an individual. Second, it is infinite. Jesus Christ acted as only a God is able when He suffered for the sin of mankind. The power of scoop of the atonement is not easy understood. It is infinitely beautiful and pure. We are not asked to understand, but only to partake of its cleansing power. Hallelujah. It is available to all. Christ was not selected when he kneeled in the Garden of Gethsemane. He suffered for every person ever born in mortality. Morality. It is found in love. Christ was able to accomplish his atonement sacrifice because of his immense love he has for us. Hallelujah. At yun po ay nagawa ng Panginoong Yesus dahil nga doon sa kanyang dakilang pag-ibig. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tumayo po tayong lahat. Tumayo po tayong lahat as we continue this communion. Hallelujah. 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 And let us have a a minute of quietness and let us God ask God to search our heart as we heard the message of Pastor Mads. Let us come to the Lord. Do we remember that the second principles for a great of cultivating a great heart is to remember what God has done for us. And it is also commanded to us to remember what Christ had done on the cross for us. Hallelujah. When we read on the first Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23, for I received from the Lord what I have 
what I also pass on you. The Lord Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he gave thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us take the bread and be gratitude from our heart. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Panginoon, salamat po. Sapagkat tunay na, O Diyos, na kung hindi sa pamamagitan ng iyong sakripisyo sa krus ng Kalbaryo, lahat ng kasamaan namin at kasalanan, O Diyos, ay hindi mapapawid. Subalit, subalit salamat. Sapagkat ang sakripisyo mo, O Diyos, ay bilang tanda, O Diyos, ng iyong pagmamahal. At ito, O Diyos, ang naging dahilan upang ang aming mga kasalanan, O Diyos, ay mapapawid sapagkat ang iyong sakripisyo, ang paghahandog mo ng iyong sarili, O Diyos, ang siyang naging dahilan upang ang aming mga kasalanan, O Diyos, ay mabayaran. Salamat po. Tinanggap namin ang, 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 ang simbolo ng iyong katawan ng tinapay nito. At kami, O Diyos, ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa iyong kabutihan sa amin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And verse 24, And when, he, and when he had given thanks, in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying this, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. Maging mapagpasalamat po tayo, alalahanin natin, na ang lahat ng karunihan na ating nagawa ay hinugasan ng dugo ni Jesus. Let us drink this Panginoon, salamat po sa iyong dugo na nabuhos doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Sa pagkato, Diyos, ito ang siyang naging kapangyarihan mo upang kami, O Diyos, ay malinis na hindi karapat-dapat, O Diyos, ay naging karapat-dapat sa iyong harapan. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkat wala ng ibang mga bagay, O Diyos, na makapagtatanggal pa at makapaglilinis, O Diyos, ng lahat ng karumihan na mayroon kami. Kaya Panginoon, salamat po. Salamat po. Lahat po kami hindi karapat-dapat pero naging karapat-dapat kami sapagkat ang iyong dugo ay nabuhos sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Pinupuri ka namin, Panginoon, na way patuloy mo, Diyos, na pagpalain, pagtibayin ang pagtanggap namin, Panginoon, ng mga elementong ito na siyang maglalo pang magbigay ng kalaliman, o Diyos, ng pagkaunawa, o Diyos, sa sakripisyo mo, Lord, sa krus ng Kalbaryo, naway ang bawat isa na tumangga po Diyos ng pag-alala, na gumana po Diyos ng iyong mga nagawa sa aming mga buhay. Naway hindi namin ito makalimutan kailanpaman at sa palagian o Diyos na pagkain namin at pag-inob ng kop sa kopang ito Diyos, ay lagi naming maalala ang iyong kabutihan, ang iyong katakilaan at ang iyong sakripisyo para sa amin. Sa pangalan ng Panginoon So Kristo, ibinabalik namin sa iyo, Ma, ang lahat ng papuri at pasasalamat. Amen! Hallelujah! 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 Okay, thank you, Pastor, sa inyong uh, salita na pinagtalo today. And alam nyo, mga kapatid, ilang buwan lang tayo. Buwan na ba tayo dito, Pastor? Wala pa, no? Buwan na. November. Pero isang taon na tayo, praise God. Di ba? Kamakailan na tayo dito. Binigyan, pero ipinadanas ng Panginoon na isang taon na tayo rito. Di ba? So, doon tayo sa ikaw, pang, uh, pangalawang bahagi uh, sa pagbibigay. Uh, sabi sa, sa, sa Panginoon, yung ibibigay natin dapat magiging kaya-aya. Yung pagbibigay mo is totally don't expect na may return. 
don't expect na nag, dahil nagbibigay ka is nag i ka na malaking balik. Ang Panginoon hindi ganon. Pag nagbibigay ka, bukal sa iyong kalooban, only God. Pero hindi papayag ang Diyos nang ibinibigay natin para sa Kanya na bukal sa ating kalooban, ay hindi niya pagpapalain. Ibe-bless ng Diyos. Kung naalala nyo, yung, yung isang, ano, isang balo, na di ultimo singkong ano na lang sa kanya, pinakamababang pera na lang sa kanya, binigay niya ng kusang loob. Samantala, yung isang paraseo yung nagbibigay na pinakita niya sa ismalaki. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, yung pinagpapala niya, yung nagbibigay ng maliit, pero bukal sa kalooban. Lalo na siguro mga kapatid, pag nagbigay tayo ng, ng, ng bukal sa ating kalooban na medyo malaki, mas lalo tong pagpapalain. Pinagpapala nga ng Diyos yung maliit eh, na bukal sa kalooban. So magbigay tayo para sa Diyos, para sa kanyang kaluwalhatian, para ma, maibalaganap natin ang salita ng Panginoon. Hindi kailangan ng, 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 ng pera ng Diyos. Hindi niya kailangan. Pero sa atin dito, bilang isang mananampalataya at bilang isang paluwer ng Panginoon, kailangan natin maabot. Huwag tayong selfish. Dahil may mga kapatid tayo na naliligaw na hindi pa nakarinig ng banal na salita. Yun. According to pastor, sabi niya kanina, to lead people, to lead people, and bring. Kung hindi tayo pupunta at hindi tayo maghahanap wala tayong ililid at wala tayong ibibring. Yan yung purpose kung bakit tayo magbibigay para sa Panginoon. Amen? Tayo yung mukot manalangin. Diyos, salamat Panginoon sa iyong uh, ipinagkaloob sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Salamat o Diyos sa nagdaang taon, Panginoon, na ipinagkaloob mo. Salamat sa mga pagpapala, Panginoon, sa nagdaang mga taon, Panginoon. Salamat sa mga grasya at habag pinagkaloob mo sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Lord, dalangin namin, Panginoon, sa 2024, O oh God, na Ikaw, O oh Diyos, ang magpala sa bawat isa sa amin. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon, ang aming lakas, ang aming pisikal na katawan, Panginoon, ang aming kaisipan, ano ang aming mahawakan, Panginoon, ano man aming maapakan, saan mo man kami dalhin, Panginoon, sa aming panyapa. Lord, pagpapalain mo kami. Pagpapalain mo kami, O Diyos. Sino man, Panginoon, ang aming mga kasalamuha, Panginoon. Lord, magniningning ang iyong pangalan sa buhay namin, O Diyos. Lord, sa darating na 2024, Panginoon, I speak blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon blessings, O God. Lord, sa mga lingkod mo, Panginoon, Lord, ikaw magpala, Panginoon, sa kanilang tinapayan, sa kanilang tubigan. Lord, mag-overflow, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, sa taong ito, Panginoon, na alam ko, Diyos, na pagpapalain mo ang bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. Lord, salamat sa mga taong nagbigay, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, sa mga taong hindi, hindi pa nakapagbigay, Panginoon. In Lord, dalangin ko, Panginoon, hindi ba sila ngayon makapagbigay, O God? Lord, pagpapalain mo sila, Panginoon, na siksik, liglik, at umaapaw, Panginoon, nang sa ganun, O God, makapagbigay sila sa inyo, O Diyos. Lord, pagpalain mo ang aming mga puso, Panginoon, na may kasiyahan na magbigay sa inyo, O Diyos, para sa iyong kalwalhatian, Panginoon, for extension of your kingdom, O God, dito sa New Zealand, Panginoon. Lord, pagpalain mo ang aming mga trabaho, Panginoon, bawat isa sa aming mga trabaho namin, Panginoon, Pagpalain mo, Diyos. Lord, ang aming mga boss, aming mga, mga negosyo sa mga kapatiran namin, Panginoon, iyong pagpapalain, O Diyos, sa taong ito, O God. Lord, sino man ang aming makaharap, Panginoon, ito'y makukungkar namin, Panginoon, through you, O God, sa pamamagitan mo, Panginoon. Lord, salamat dahil sa taong ito, Panginoon, abundance of blessings sa inyong mga lingkong. Lord, salamat, Panginoon, sa mga employer. Salamat, Panginoon, sa mga company ng aming pinagtatarabuhuan, Panginoon. Lord, pagpapalain mo sila, O Diyos, according to your, to your riches and glory, Panginoon. 
Lord, salamat sa patuloy mong pagbibigay, pagpapala sa bawat isa, Panginoon. Lord, salamat. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. We have three ways of giving for our tithes and offering. So we have cash, FPOS, and bank transfer. Use your name as your reference for the bank transfer. So moving on, let us welcome once again our first-time visitors to Lord Jesus Christ Ministry. Let's welcome Sharon Nino Agaral. Also to Christian Batasin In. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. We hope that today's service is a reflection of the love that defines our church. May you feel at home, connected, and inspired. So let's proceed to our announcements. So care groups, so if you don't have care groups yet, stop by our front desk or simply fill the connect form to find group meetings near you. For more information, see Brother Norman. So we have the, care, the following care groups, Hornby, Woolston, CLE, or Youth, Young, Adult, Men, and Women. So for our prayer meeting, we are all invited to attend our prayer meeting every Wednesday at 7 p.m. here in our church. So contact Pastora Angie for your prayer requests. Easter Camp 2024, that's Friday, March 29 to Sunday, March 31. YMCA Akaroa Wainui Park Camp. For more details, that's to be arranged. So get connected with us through Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channels. Simply search at LJCM New Zealand. So thank you for joining us and see you next Sunday. May I request everyone to please stand for our closing prayer by Pastor Rick. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Grace. Hallelujah. So are you blessed tonight, church? Parang hindi tonight no, kasi... <laughs> Are you blessed today, church? Amen. Do you feel the presence of God today? Amen. So, uh, like Pastor Maj mentioned a while ago about uh, we have a brother that we need financial, right? Because alam na natin na talagang kailangan talaga sa Pilipinas. So, ito naman, hindi po naman not by force. So, it's from the heart. No, ang topic po natin is about cultivating our heart. You know what's the other word of cultivating? Is prepare. Preparation. Dapat nating pagandaan ang ating puso. You know? Kasi ang sabi po ng Biblia, basahin ko lang po sa glit. Ang sabi po ng Panginoon sa 1 Samuel verse, uh, chapter 16 verse 7, ang sabi niya, But the Lord said to Samuel, and the Lord said to us, Do not consider his appearance or his height. For I have rejected, rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Amen? So, ang tinitignan po ng Panginoon ang ating puso, mga kapatid. Kaya po, napaka-importante po sa buhay kristyano, lalo na yung mga kristyana. Importante po sa buhay natin na tama ang ating puso. Right? Kasi kapag kasi sin, the momentum of sin is start from the heart. Tama? Kapag may something sa iyong puso, if you are anger, then ang lalabas po, anger. Right? No? Kapag ang puso po is may galit, lalabas ang galit. Kapag ang puso po may pag-ibig, then lalabas pag-ibig. Amen? Kaya po, we ask, our brothers and sisters, if you, 
If God touch your heart, then we give like a... Hindi naman kailangan gaano kalaki. It's not important the amount. Ang important po is kung ano yung kayang ibigay na yung puso para matulungan ang ating mga kapatid. Amen? Because the Bible say, it's better to give than to receive. So, ibig sabihin, in other words, God will pour out His blessings to you. Amen? Amen po ba? Are you ready to give? Amen? So, let's uh, let's bow our head and I will pray. So, later on po, sa mga after our closing, uh, after the closing prayer, once the music team will uh, sing the victory song, if you have cash, just put it here. And also, we accept it. Pause here. If you want to give. And just go to the to the lady out there at the back. Okay, let's bow our head and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, Lord, that once again we gather here that you are in our midst tonight, oh God. Salamat sa iyong presensya na sinamahan mo kami ngayong gabi, Panginoon. Lord, we believe and we have faith, oh Lord, that all the people here right now, and all the congregation right now, and also, Lord, to those our brothers and sisters who watch online, oh God, we believe and we have faith, Lord, that today it's pleasing in your eyes, Panginoon, because inuna namin ang iyong kingdom, oh Lord. Salamat, oh Lord, sa buhay ng bawat isa na nandito, Panginoon, na nagbigay time, nagbigay treasure, nagbigay ng kanilang talento para sambahin, dakilain ang dakilang pangalan ng aming Panginoon. Kaya, Panginoon, sa gabing ito, Lord, Nawa o Diyos sa langit at kasama ang iyong million of angels, you are pleased in your people tonight. And Lord, as you promise that if we seek your kingdom first and your righteousness, all things will add it into us. Kaya Panginoon, inaangkin na namin ngayong gabi, Panginoon, anything, kung ano mang pangangilangan ng bawat isa, any needs that we need right now, O oh God. Lord, we have paid and we declare in the name of Jesus as you promise, O oh God, that today we will receive the all things na kailangan namin, Panginoon, because this is your promise, Lord. Today, we seek your kingdom. We seek your righteousness. That's why, O oh God, we expect, Lord, because alam po namin, Panginoon, kailanman hindi ka nagsisnungaling, O oh Lord. You are so truthful to your people. You are so truthful to your promises to your people. That's why, O oh God, tinataas ko po sa iyo, Panginoon, ang bawat isa, Panginoon. Hindi ko po alam ang mga sirkumstansya ng bawat isa. Hindi ko po alam ang pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa. Hindi ko po alam ang mga, ang mga problema o meron man silang mga struggle sa kanilang buhay, physically, spiritually. But today, Lord, alam ko po, Diyos, na sinugo mo na ang iyong million of angels doon sa langit at sinasagot mo na, Panginoon, ang mga secret petition ng bawat tao sa nandito ngayon sa amin, Panginoon. Alam po namin, O Diyos, that there is an answer prayer right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know, Lord, that there's something miracles will happen to your people right now, O God, as we receive your anointing, Lord. As we receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost right now, through the anointing of Owen. Kaya, Panginoon, we are so excited, Lord, that some people here, some brother, of, some, some brother and sisters, ay tatayo sa harap, Panginoon, and they will testify your goodness to your people, Panginoon. And we are so excited of that testimony, O God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Lord, salamat rin, Panginoon, sa buhay ng aming lead pastor, Pastor Mads, O Lord, na siyang ginamit mo, Panginoon, that to remind us that we must cultivate our heart because the momentum of sin start from our heart, Panginoon. Salamat sa kanyang buhay. And thank you, O God, because the way to please your eyes is we must repent our sin to you, Panginoon. We must change, O Lord. Yes, Lord, marami kami mga kasalanan, Panginoon, but Lord, you ask us to repent 
ibig sabihin, Panginoon, you ask us to change our lifestyle, Panginoon. Kaya, O God, salamat sa buhay ng aming pastor, Panginoon. Patuloy, Lord, i-guide mo po siya, Panginoon. At patuloy, O Lord, i-anoint mo ang kanyang buhay at maging pagpapala siya, Panginoon, sa kanyang mga kakausap, sa kanyang makasama, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And also, Lord, thank you so much because today we feel your presence. We feel your million of angels na kasama namin na nagpupuri sa iyo, Panginoon. Kaya, O oh Diyos, salamat sa gabing ito, Panginoon. Muli, O oh God, binabalik namin sa iyo lahat ng papuri, lahat ng pagsamba sa walang isang pangalan ng silong ng langit na nagkakaligtas ng tao, kundi nag-iisang pangalan lamang ang pangalan ng aming Panginoong Isus. Kaya, Panginoon, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the thanksgiving, O oh God. All praise and worship belong to you only, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. May the love and the grace and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost and the triune God and the Son and the, and the, the Father will be upon us wherever we go forever and ever and all the sons and daughters of God will say Amen and Amen. God bless you, mga kapatid. So sa mga gustong magbigay po, pwede pong magbigay kung meron po kayong cash. Are you blessed, church? Once again, we'll give back the honor and glory to our living God by singing our victory song tonight. can see, see church. Oh, how beautiful are you, Lord? It's your words, it's your love. Oh, how glorious are you, Lord? Your power, you watch it cry. They saved me, they rescued me. Just a moment, they set me free. Come on, I give you glory. I give you glory, glory. I give you glory. your love, oh how glorious are you Lord, it's your power, it was your cross, that saved me, and rescued me, just a moment there, set me free, come on, give me glory. Yeah.
Tonight. So let's enjoy. 